Hello everyone, this is Ashish Sani from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to my channel. Today, you will learn how to send an external message to your Asa chatbot and so that your chatbot can respond to you according to that. Now, you must be thinking if we are going to send the message or let's say we are going to send the input message to your Asa chatbot and your chatbot is going to give you the response or reply according to that, then what is the difference? of sending the message to your Asa chatbot externally, right? So the main difference of that is if in case you want to create a conversational bot and that is a voice bot, right? So in that case, what you have to do is you have to send some voice note and voice note cannot be directly sent to your Asa chatbot. So for that, what you have to do is you must know how to send the messages to your Asa chatbot externally so that if in case you're getting some voice as an input value so that you can convert that voice into the textual form and that textual form will be directly or let's say indirectly sent to your Asa chatbot and that will be the main part and with respect to that your Asa chatbot will give you the output, right? So this is the main reason why we are going to use the Rasa chatbot and to send the input messages externally. So this is the main flow of that. Now let's see how we are going to do it in your Rasa chatbot and how we can send the input messages to your Rasa chatbot externally. So let's get back to the program. So this is the program which we have created in the last session where you have seen how to add the forms and you have seen how to create a program with less efforts, right? So this is what we have done till now. Now, the main task of today is to send the messages to your Rasa chatbot externally. So what we have to do is we have to create a script in which we have to add the program or let's say we have to add the API on which we are going to send a post request with respect to the message that you will get from the user. And with respect to that message or let's say with respect to that input message, your bot is going to give you the message back to you, right? So this is how we are going to do it. And for that, firstly, we have to set a few things so that your voice bot can perform well, right? So this is the first part of that. So for that NLU part, we have already done. So you don't have to add anything to it. Stories you have already done. Actions we have already done domain we have already done and the configurations we have already done. So we don't have to do anything into these files. So what we have to do is we have to make changes to these two files. The first one is the credentials file and the second one is the endpoints file, right? So in the credentials part, what you have to do, you have to put this rest inside it and you don't have to comment it. So you have to uncomment it if you are already having the commented part. And after that, you also have to be have this link over here, right? So which is the link for your Rasa. So this is the main server on which your Rasa X or Rasa shell performs, right? So in which this is the port number, which specifies like on which port you're going to work, right? So, and also in the endpoint file, you must have included this action endpoint on the basis of which you can start your action server. So this is how you can do it. So this is the main thing that you have to set up inside your credential part and the endpoints file, right? So this is what you have to do over here. After that, you have to create a script inside which you have to write your complete program, right? So for now, what I have done is I have created a basic program so this is the basic program in which what we were doing is we were just asking the user for the input values and with respect to that input value, we are sending that message to the Rasa chatbot. Your Rasa chatbot is giving you the reply according to that and that reply will be shown you over here, right? So this is the complete program for that. And let's see what we are doing in this part. So in this part, firstly, we are asking the user for the input name of the user, whatever it is. So this is just the optional part. So it's up to you whether you want to add it in your program or no. So it's completely up to you. So for now, what I have done is I have just asked the user for the name so that I can store that name and accordingly I can send that as well. And after that, I am creating a variable, which is an empty string 
for the further use and what is the further use of that that you will see in the next line in which I have created a while loop and inside that while loop I have uh, put a condition in which I am asking like if the bot message is not equals to buy so if a user have sent you some message and that message is what buy so if the user have sent you the buy at that time what I have to do I have to just come out of the loop so that it will stop the execution right so this is what I have done for now and after that if in case the input message is not buy at that time you will ask the user for the message so whatever is the message that message will be used further so after that I am just using this link so this is the API which I have set up over here and that is the API for your local host with respect to that we are going to request a post request right so we are just sending a post request on this particular link so that when I am going to send some message so I am sending the message in the form of JSON in which firstly I have sent the sender so who is the sender so whatever is the name I will send it over here with respect to that whatever is the message so this is the message with respect to that your chatbot will give you the response right so this is the complete message which I am sending to this particular API right so with respect to this API I am doing the post request so post request means I am sending some message and your API will give me some message back right so when you will get the message back it will create an instance and that instance will be stored inside your variable that is R right so it has created an instance so that means if you will print like R at that time you will not get the output instead you have to call the functions from that and accordingly you will be able to display the messages like here what I have done I have created a loop which is a for loop and I have used R.JSON so it has converted the data into the JSON format and with respect to that JSON format I am just separating out my text part because it's not necessary or compulsory like your chatbot can only pass you or only give the response with respect to the text part it can also give you the link to your images to any other things whatever your chatbot can hold right so in my case I am creating a conversational bot which is a voice bot so I only need the textual part so that's why I am just separating out that part so I have this part over here and with respect to that I am just printing this part over here right so whenever I will send like hi with respect to that that hi will be sent to this link and this link will give you the output of the Rasa chatbot and that message will be printed over here right so this is the complete flow of that now I am done with the code now I have to see like whether my chatbot is working fine from the external source or no so for that you have to go to the terminal so this is my terminal and inside this terminal I am already inside my project directory and also my environment is activated so for that what I have to do is I don't have to call the Rasa X or Rasa shell this time so this time I have to create a new command over here and that command I have already over here so just copy this and paste it over here so in here what I am doing is I am just running my rasa so for that I have written the command rasa run and after that my first argument is hyphen m and inside which I am passing the models so models is my directory inside which you are having the multiple models with you but it will not pick all of it instead it will pick the latest one so whatever is the latest model that you have trained that will be picked over here and after that I am sending the endpoints so this is the endpoint file and this is the path for that so that path will be here right so with respect to that it will take care of your action file so action server will be uh, started with respect to that and after that I am specifying on which port my rasa x or rasa shell is working so I have specified that port that is 5002 and here you can see in the credentials file you have the link for your rasa x 
right so that is also running on 5002 so this is the main thing which you have to specify and if in case you are not using your rasa x or rasa shell on this particular port at that time you can change it and with respect to that changed port you have to mention it so if in case you are having this is 5003 then you have to set it as 5003 so this is what you have to do here and the last one is the credentials in which you have to specify the path of your credentials file right so this is the complete command using which you can run your own script that can be used to run your rasa shell or let's say to run your rasa chatbot from any external source right so this is how you can do it now just press enter then it will run your rasa chatbot right so this is how it's gonna do so your rasa shell is working fine now now after that you have done this open a new terminal and inside this terminal what you have to do is you have to run your this script which you have created so it's not necessary that you have to create it from here only you can directly run from here as well right so it's up to you how you want to call it now let's do one thing let's run the action server from here so action run right so this will start your action server now let's do one thing your chatbot is working your action server is also running let's do one thing let's run it over here so it will ask you for your name so let's say Ashish is my name so what is your message so here it will ask you for the message that you want to send to your chatbot so the first message will be hi so with respect to that your bot has replied hello how may i assist you so this is the first message that your chatbot will provide you as per the previous session that you may have seen like we have already done the conversation with this bot so whatever is the conversation flow of this particular bot it will give you the response according to that right so what is the next question how may I assist you like I will say I am facing network issue so okay please provide your first name so this is what this is the conversation or let's say this is the actual flow of this particular chatbot which we have created right so with respect to that whatever is the next answer you will pass according to that so I have passed Ashish so it is asking you sir I would like to this is this, this so this is what this is the complete way how you can send the input message to your chatbot but this time what we have done we haven't directly called the rasa shell or rasa x this is the actual way how you can call your rasa chatbot externally and further you can convert your rasa chatbot into the voice board right so this is the exact way how you can do it so this is it for your today's session i hope everything was very clear to you but still if you are facing any kind of a difficulties in the topic taught to you then you can definitely leave a so this is it for your today's session i hope everything was very clear to you but still if you're having any kind of difficulties understanding the topic then you can definitely leave a comment below in the comment section so if you're new to this channel then click on the subscribe button and also Hit the like button if you like this video. Till then, bye bye and thanks for watching this video.